Hey guys, welcome back to my Faction Wars series. Let's take a look at demons, shall we? The demon faction may be the most OP faction in the whole game. Like, and not even kidding. Like if you if you were to pick a random demon from the legendary section, they're all great. I can't think of a crappy legendary demon. Um, half the champions that I want the most are still in the demon faction. There's half frack would uh, would do would do many things, dirty things to get myself a half frack. There's also Lord Shazar, who's got the best the best uh, aura in the game. And he's arguably the best bomber in the game, too. There's, there's so much working for the demon faction. You get Drexthar Bloodthwin. He's absolutely awesome. Um, you can get him for free, and he's great in Faction Wars. I'm not using him. Um, my crowd controller is... Um, it's actually Kaimar a bit. I use Kaimar in almost everything that I do in this game. I use him in Arena probably less than I should. Um... Because he's such an OP champion everywhere. I use him to reset my strongest wave clearing comps as well. So I will often pair him with Lydia and Seer to just completely demolish waves when I can get all three going. We got Duchess in the lead. Let's talk about Duchess. Um, she's got a speed aura that helps everywhere, so your team is going even faster. She has all kinds of debuffs, buffs, I should say. She's got all kinds of buffs that help the team. She's got the increased attack. She's got the veils. She has that passive that reduces the damage that hits everybody. And then the veils also passively reduce the damage hitting everybody. So if you have a Duchess, consider yourself lucky. You should be using her everywhere. In Arena, in PvE, honestly, everywhere. I'm using... Magnar as my main DPS for this. He is probably the best epic nuker. Maybe not in the whole game. He's probably the best HP based nuker in the game. Particularly if you don't have HP burn in. That's also part of why I don't want to use the, the other burn champs. It's because if you have Magnar, it actually interferes with his DPS. So you kind of not want to have burn even though it's weird you know like w w when they were designing him they really should have considered maybe you're supposed to have burns to make him better but he's designed the way he is and the way he is works extremely well um we've also got allure allure is amazing against fire knight but really she's amazing everywhere she's going to be doing a lot of turn meter control against this boss He's going to get turns very rarely, and if we could get down this other ad, he might not get another turn again for the duration of the fight. That's how good her A1 is. And she could just she could just keep applying that pressure, keep that, unless she gets frozen, of course. So, you know, I'm eating those words. Anyway, I also like to say that in every faction, I like to have a token rare. And in this case, I'm using Abyssal. He's amazing. Uh, of all the rares, I think he's he's maybe one of my two favorites in this faction for this role. The other would be Fellhound. Both of them are very strong attackers. Uh, they have an AoE on their A1, so they can both area of effect. You can put them in stun sets to get out some extra controls. You can put that um, Fearsome Presence Mastery on him to get the stuns out more frequently. Once he reaches the boss, he kind of has a more support role. And that's also what I like about his kit. I mean, he's got he's got the weak version of increased defense, but nobody else on the team has it, so that's helping us. He's got a heal, and that's helping us. So just about everything in his kit is perfect for faction wars, but you can use him as a, a crowd controller in Doom Tower. So if you pull an Abyssal, uh, don't be disappointed that you got a rare. You got a really, really good rare. Absolutely build him. You can probably use him to farm campaign, too, if you really wanted to. You can build him for damage, but I prefer to build him for crowd control. So he's just really fast and gets out the stuns as frequently as possible. And that's that's pretty much the team right there. Uh, Kaimar, you want to get him to 100% crit rate. If you're lucky enough to have Kaimar, you probably examined the kit and, and sussed that out. Um, sometimes you make sacrifices, but... 
with a hundred percent crit rate, he just he keeps getting these poisons, and that'll help him even do work when you get to the boss. And I like to get in like every last piece of damage you can when you're at a boss. Um, there's a lure doing that turn meter control and getting frozen again. It's too bad Duchess isn't putting up her block debuffs a little more often. Come on, Duchess. Do your job, Duchess. Do your job. So this, this is not one of my fastest comps. I probably could even come up with a faster comp in this, uh, in this category. It's just that this team works reliably. It never fails. You can rely, you can lean heavily on Duchess. If you don't have Duchess, um, you do have Durr. Not as good as Duchess, but Durr can still get the job done if you really need a reviver slash healer. He's, he's great. And he's only an epic, so you're likely to pull him. But here we are, almost at the end of it. I can, I think I can finish this in about half the time it took today, so I, I apologize that this is one of the slower runs. If you wanted to see a faster one, well, I don't know, you can stay tuned. Maybe if I get a faster one on the next run, I'll post it. Or at some point in the future, but for now, this is the, uh, this is the team, guys. Uh, I think some of you in the comments are actually saying, like, you wanted to look at the stats, so you know what? Here, let's, let's just quickly go in, right at the end. And I'll just show the, um, I won't show the gear sets or whatever, uh, but Duchess is in, is in regen, um, with a bit of stone skin. That doesn't, that doesn't really help you here, but basically you got, these are Duchess's stats. Here's Prince Kaimar, here's Magnar, and Allure, and Abyssal. Anyway, that's the team, guys. Thanks for joining. See you on the next video. Take care of yourselves.